Hey, it's Aaron from GameBoothers.com, and today we're going to be looking at Little Nightmares. I played this on the PS4. So the game kind of begins with uh, a shadowy figure uh, wearing a mask, and you wake up in what looks like a suitcase. And you never really get a, an up-close view of exactly what you are um, but apparently you, you came prepared with a raincoat it seems kind of wet and dank so that, that seems apropos so as most games uh, typical fashion sort of uh, guide you and tell you what all the controls are um, the lights they're not always like checkpoints maybe I think the game does automatic checkpoints, but I think the lights may be if you like, maybe if you left the game, quit and come back, that might be uh, a checkpoint that that lasts, whereas the other ones might be temporary. But so as you make your way around the environment, uh, you'll learn how to uh, to grab things and use various um, uh, items to uh, to move around the environment. Sometimes successfully, sometimes not. And I was glad that the game did like explicitly say, hey, look around because there were there was that was exactly a point where I thought, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. But the game is good about letting you know, hey, what you're able to do and what you're not to some degree. I'm going to do this review and I'm going to try not to mention something that mention a game that uh, it's kind of it's on the tip of my tongue but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm showing restraint <laughs> trying not to uh, mention it right away on the way you'll find a lot of the room not a lot but there's dolls in the rooms and if you pick them up and smash them I'm assuming I don't know if it unlocks anything but I'm assuming there's an achievement for for finding all of them so a lot of the puzzles uh are uh, of the environmental uh, variety, uh, pulling switches and maybe rearranging some things, uh, lighting lights, swinging on things, that kind of stuff. And there's these little gnome characters. Uh, there are certain instances where you can open something up and let them free. Um, it's interesting. The game doesn't explicitly tell you anything. Uh, all the story elements and things you just kind of pick up from from the actions that are there. And then there are the the creatures who aren't necessarily like uh, rodents, at least in terms of size. Uh, they're kind of like rodents anyway. Um, that you interact with that are kind of kind of creepy. Like this this character here definitely gave me a uh, original Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy chasing after Tina kind of vibe because of the length of his arms. Very, very disturbing. And uh, they will pursue you. Um, and uh, they're not they're not really. Boss battles per se, but there are instances where you do get a chance to, to break a little freer from uh, from their from their grasp, if I could put it that way. And move on to another area uh, where you have this kind of doughy leather face kind of uh, chef to uh, to avoid lest you be cooked. I mean, you know, you want to use the sausage to your advantage. You don't want to become the sausage. That meat looks that doesn't doesn't look good. And then only to find out that of course there's there's more than one of them. Which is uh doubly disturbing because these yeah, these these things are uh these creatures are pretty grotesque. And I say that not really understanding or knowing what the character I'm controlling actually looks like. I just know that if I get caught, I'm in trouble. 
So you make your way through the crevices and holes in the wall and things like that. Not always successfully. Oh boy. I'm trying not to show too many of the puzzles and things in the game, but um, the nightmares was definitely interesting. I really want to discuss it with someone else who's completed it to kind of get their take on what they really think was going on in comparison to, to what I think uh, the game is really about. But I really enjoyed it. And I really didn't say a certain five letter word that begins with L that this game certainly reminded me of. Um, but all in all, I kind of enjoyed it. I'm just going to say it. Uh, I kind of got a limbo vibe out of it. I mean, I avoided only to run right into it. Um, I did get a limbo vibe out of Little Nightmares, but I enjoyed a lot of it a little bit more. I felt that, I don't know, the puzzle seemed to just make click with me a little better. Uh, the story, even though part of it is intentionally you know ambiguous, um, there's some little twists and things in it as well that just seem a little more interesting to me. Not to say I didn't, I, mean, I like Limbo, I think it's still a great game, but I definitely think Little Nightmares is something that is definitely worth playing. Uh, it's similar, uh, similar in length. It doesn't overstay its welcome. I think it tells a nice, concise story and kind of leaves it open for you to interpret what you think really happened. So all that being said, I really enjoyed Little Nightmares and highly recommend that, um, that you play it. Thanks for watching.